Learning your ABCs with all your buddies. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we. Woot woot! Thanks for joining us from the World Wide Web for another Bible ABCs video. So today's letter is W. This is an uppercase W, and this is a lowercase W. W makes the W sound like in wheels or in wings. Speaking of wings, there's also some wild animals that start with the letter W. George and Nancy were talking with me the other day about which ones were our favorites. Well, I'm glad you told me about this great coffee joint. By the way, uh, what's your guys' favorite W wild animal? Well, my favorite W animal is a walrus because they have tusks just like elephants. Hey, we, we haven't had a competition in a while. George, I challenge you to an arm wrestling match. So what is your favorite animal that starts with W? Whales. Just like the Bible character for our story from today, from the story of Jonah and William. Wait, there's no character in the Bible named William. It's the story of Jonah and the whale, but I think his name should maybe be William. Uh, but his friends call him Willie for short. Okay, so Jonah and the whale, or as some would say, is it really just a big fish? Whale. Uh, some say it was a whale. Others argue it was just a big fish. But personally, I wouldn't wail on anybody who disagrees with me. So tell the kids what in the world a whale was doing in the Bible story. He was making Jonah the first submarine captain in the history of the world. On board. Mm, I don't think that's how it went. And God would be the real captain in this situation. True. It all started when God commanded a man named Jonah to tell some people in the city of Nineveh to stop misbehaving. But Jonah didn't want to, so he got in a ship headed in the exact opposite direction. Oh, that sounds like a bad idea. Jonah was going the wrong way. But God used a big storm and a giant fish or whale, possibly named Willie, to get Jonah back on track. Jonah was in the belly of the whale for three days, and the whale carried him back in the right direction and spit him onto dry land. So Jonah eventually went to Nineveh, and he told the people there that they had been doing wrong. Yep. The good news is that when the people of Nineveh heard this, they repented. So what does it mean to repent? It means to say, I'm sorry, or to admit that we've done something wrong. When we hit others or say mean things about them or don't listen to our teacher or our parents, Jesus tells us to repent. But the good news is that when we admit to God we've done something bad, God forgives us. So that's why Jesus came to save us. First, to help us stop from going in the wrong direction, and then to forgive us and help us go the right way. Remember, don't go the wrong way. But if you do, go back to Jesus because he's the right way, the truth, and the life. He forgives us when we repent. And don't forget to join us for our next excellent Bible ABCs video. And now, I am proud to present the 2021 Arm Wrestling Championship! In this corner, standing up pretty tall and donning a purple robe, Pastor Greg! And in this corner, standing at as tall as he can, with a white fuzzy vest, George! And begin! Wait, have we started? Yes!
Oh, my arm is mega sore. One of these days I'm going to get you, George. Same time next week. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do I.